Hi, so in this video I would like to have a look at an interesting puzzle a very cool chess puzzle and this was posted on, on Twitter some time ago it seems by uh, Sergei Karakin but I hadn't seen this before and he says absolutely love this position why to move and draw and he mentioned that this is hard and it really is and it's also an interesting puzzle in that your computer will not solve it for you. And if the computer can't solve it, it's either really, really difficult or it has some sort of idea, a conceptual idea. So that's kind of a spoiler already. So I do encourage you to uh, give it a shot, try to solve it. Uh, I'll leave the fan string in, in the uh, in the description so you can uh, copy it into uh, your chess software and, and uh, have a look at the position or just pause this video and you can see the position right over there so it's white to move now let's have a look uh, and this is a very nice puzzle so first orientation this pawn is about the queen in one move. And that's obviously a huge problem. So material, we have two extra juicy knights. But it looks like it's going to be hard to uh, deal with this bugger of a pawn here on c2, which is about the queen. So first thing to notice is no knight can stop the pawn. We would need the knight here or here, any of these squares to cover c1. But alas, that's not possible. So what do we do as I fool around with the colors here? So what to do? And that's a very good question. Even the first move is, is hard to find. So, what to do? Why to move? Well, let's start. Try something. Um, like knight here. It attacks the pawn. Doesn't It doesn't do anything. There's a queen. Okay, we can uh, protect our knights. Like here or here. Uh, but then the pawn is captured. And this pawn will be the a game changer. Although I, I think queen against two knights is actually winning with some kind of Sukhswan. So 93 doesn't work. Uh, knight f4 doesn't make a difference. So even the first move is, is quite difficult. And there doesn't seem to be a way to like... Well, sometimes when you have two knights, you, you can build up some kind of a fortress. <gasps> fortress? Mm -hmm. And, and lock in the king, but here, well, what did I mean? the king is running, you know. So this does not work. So even the first move is difficult. So I'm now going to show you the solution. And the first move is knight to f3. So this comes with check, so that's already a rather forcing. And we need to examine some options here. Uh, I can take the knight, go king h1, which we'll call the main line, or even king g3. Let's actually start with king to g3, because I haven't looked at it yet, so what's going on here? Well, probably... Aha, uh -huh. yeah, this looks very nice. Knight f4. <clears throat> the idea is to, well, stop the pawn in its tracks. And here you can't make a queen because I will give you a check. So you have a choice to take either knight if you uh, take this one. Our knight is in time and we will see 
position similar to this one. Uh, the knight comes to c1, and from there it's enough to draw. We'll look at this later. So this was taking uh, the knight on what f4, and if we take the knight on, no, this was taking the knight on on f3. Yeah, if we take the one on f4, it seems to me that we can play knight e1. This attacks the pawn, but it also eyes the checking square on d3. So if we make a queen, we give a check. Okay, that's king g3, which I just thought of as we were going through this. The other move is king takes g2, but uh, that obviously fails to knight one check, picking up a pawn. The king moves in, and yeah, okay, uh, even here, white is actually winning, so black doesn't want to do that, because white can only draw from the starting position, so losing is obviously not... Best play from black. So after knight to f3, it seems like the most testing move is king to h1. So going to the corner, there are no checks, and also there's no way to uh, reach these key squares that block the pawn from queening. So here is another fantastic move. Knight f3 was already hard to find. But what about this one? <laughs> My G1. What is this? So just like in the line with King G3, both knights can actually be captured. But neither one works. So queening the pawn is going to be our main line. Let's look at the other options. King takes on G1. Then, similar to uh, the knight e1 idea earlier, we go the other way, knight to f4. If you queen, we have this check, and if you come closer, we're in time to uh, block the pawn. And black can't win here, okay, we, we can queen. Black can make an immediate draw by taking this pawn. But if he takes the knight, white is just in time here to pick up the c pawn, and this will be drawn. So let's go back after knight g1 and take the other knight, king takes g2, but it's more of the same, uh, the knight comes over and we get similar variations, the king is in time to pick up the pawn on c5. So black should make a, make a draw here by queening and taking the c3 pawn. So we come to the main line, c1, queen. Now what is the point here? We didn't stop the pawn from queening. And both our knights are attacked by the cheeky king in the corner. But we can attack the queen, knight to e2. And, okay, where does the queen go? Well, we might as well give a check, but it doesn't matter. Wherever the queen goes, our next move is the same as after queen f1 check. It is knight g to f4. And once you know it, what do we have? Yes, my friend, this is a fortress. So let's check. The knights are covering each other. That's good news because the queen can't capture either one of them. Either one of them. The pawn is also covered, so the pass pawn is not going to be an issue. And Let's now examine what the knights are covering. This knight, let's give him the green squares. He's covering this and he's covering this. The other knight is covering this one and this one. What does that mean? This king can only travel between these two red squares. Give me that arrow, where's my arrow? So the king is boxed in, it is a fortress of uh, some sort. Black can only move the queen, he can make no progress. And white will move the king back and forth. And this is a draw. Simply amazing. And yeah, like, like Karakin said, this is hard. And But we, I, mean, I, I just love puzzles like these. 
especially when when the computer can't solve it it's like it's like a conceptual idea and this is where humans still have a slight edge i think the computer will tell you this is like minus 2.7 for black but there is no win and if you add the lines you like line you get two or three lines it will show the same evaluation and it's simply because it can't find any way for it so yeah there was this uh fantastic puzzle i hope you enjoyed that little demonstration and I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.